System engineer versus system architect. While this also applies to product engineer versus product architect or infrastructure engineer versus infrastructure architect, really this is a question about engineer versus architect within the computer science space. In technology roles, an engineer really works with the various Legos and solves problems within a group. And I use Lego as a router, a switch, a piece of software. And the engineer takes those bits and builds something out of them. When you take multiple engineered products and make them work together, you're an architect. So it's really about the scale of what's going on. It's also a little bit about the hands-onness of it. I like to use the construction analogy that the foreman is like the engineer and the architect is like the architect, because in construction you don't have an analogy that goes beyond that, but the architect often doesn't know how to hang a joist or run the wiring, but they know what the standards are supposed to be, that you have to have joists every so many feet, and that the wiring has to be a certain gauge wire for whatever the structural requirements are in the building codes. A system architect does similar type things. They know what all of the product's requirements are, or the infrastructure requirements are, and they know the limitations of all of the pieces of the product they're building. So they'll say, we need to move X amount of data from point A to point B. Therefore, we need switches that have this amount of backplane. Or we're going to store this amount of data, so we need this amount of hard disk space in an array. This is different than what an engineer typically does where an engineer is writing code or working on those pieces of the Lego blocks. And I've talked about the difference between a programmer and an engineer and it really kind of just boils down to how small of a unit do they work on. And the same is true for, for this type of information system where there are tiers and it isn't necessarily that one person's role is more valuable than the other. It's not that an engineer isn't as valuable as an architect in all cases. It's just what parts they're responsible for. In an architect role, you may be required to implement some security protocol and the type of person who can actually engineer and implement that security protocol is a much more specialized skill set and therefore commands a much higher salary than the architect. That isn't always true and like I said it really is about different skill sets and the value of those different skill sets. But architect is the big picture guy and the engineer is the specific person working on parts of the entire product or infrastructure deployment.